Jonathan Mannion is a photographer and director that has been working within the hip hop culture for the last 20 years and is now celebrating in Johannesburg and bringing this body of work to share with the people. The exhibition um, that is sort of put together courtesy of, of Hennessy has been brought now to celebrate the individual moments in a timeline kind of format to show what it felt like from 1995, the notorious B.I.G. on stage, straight through to current with DJ Khaled's major key delivery in 2016. So this year marks my 20th year of shooting and I, and I think that it's been really important to kind of give, give it to the people. Like I know that I've taken all these shots, I know that they're important and they're also everybody else's timeline. You know, they mark moments of like, I remember when I bought that album, the Eminem album, I had to hide it under my pillow because it had bad lyrics and my mom would have taken it away. Like, there's now generations of people that have embraced this culture. I mean, we cover and span about 80 years worth of humanity, if you look at it and do the math backwards of kids that are just understanding it, young kids whose fathers are playing it in the home. Like, you know, it's like, this is a wide range of images and, and really it's exciting to celebrate. The 20th year is important to me. I've done multiple shows around the world and uh, this pit stop, Johannesburg, is, is a joyful one as it is my first time in Johannesburg. I think the benchmark is ever moving. Any creative is gonna try and exceed what he or she has done before and keep on elevating and moving forward and upward. Um, so there's always a forward movement for me. These artists have these little sweet spots in time and I've been so blessed to be attached to so many of these moments you know, throughout people's career. Because it, it's not only my journey forward as a photographer, but more importantly, like, I'm part of these people's history as well. Like, I really admire these people um, for their talent and, and their bravery. You know, putting their art form out there in any form is brave and courageous. And, it, and it's something that I, I really appreciate because it's, it's the, the risk that I also took, you know. White boy from Cleveland, Ohio, moves into the hip hop arena, like, I'm not really supposed to be here if you look at where people are supposed to be, but I passionately believed in the music. I actively participated in the culture. I was knowledgeable about my craft, not only of photography, but of music and the craft that was happening around me. So I felt like I had really compelling statements to make. I'm a storyteller when it comes down to it, and I'm here to deliver these stories in real time. I would definitely say that good enough is not good enough, whether I would call myself a perfectionist or not. You know, there's definitely moments that I, I aim for as perfect as I can be in that moment, but I think ultimately it comes down to just giving your best. You can do what I can do and it, and it changes day in, day out. If I'm a little under the weather, fighting through it, if I've had two hours sleep, you know what I mean? Am I gonna deliver the same product? Maybe not, but I, I also feel that it's all in divine order, man. You know, what I give is, is from the heart and it's passionate. I believe in the people, I try and hold them high anybody who's in front of my lens. And whether it's a, a quick snap in a hotel that I did of Ricky Rick last night, which each of the shots could have been an album cover, like and I'll show them to you and you can tell me whether that's the truth or not, but like I'm always delivering the product, whether it's on an iPhone or the Hasselblad H5 with the IQ250. So this has been a, a project that we've been trying to get right for the last four years, in fact. Hennessy is a brand. Um, we really are entrenched in this culture of hip hop. Um, and it's something we're very proud of. And really, this is for us to celebrate that. It's not something that was uh, you know, really contrived for us. It is more about the stories uh, that Jonathan can tell. He's something that we were really um, inspired by and really excited to bring to life. I will be spending time with Casper and AKA and Ricky Rick and whoever else is gonna you know, deem me worthy of uh, spending some time with them. Hopefully, uh, there's, there's a beautiful exchange that happens. Um, what's next after this? I go back to New York. I hit the ground running. I'm doing a big campaign. Um, looks like our Basil is, is on deck. Um, and 2017 obviously closes out the chapter of 20 years. So I do feel 2017 begins the next wave of the journey.